Good afternoon, Mets fans, and welcome to an injury-depleted version of Driving with Mr. Met. It's been a while since I've uh, I've recorded any videos, and uh, in my week-long hiatus, the Mets have done nothing worthwhile other than lose a lot of games, um, put half the team on the injured reserve slash DL slash unable to play list, uh, run out with a one-man and two-man bench, pinch hit with pitchers, uh, and continue to pitch unbelievably well, at least as far as the starting rotation is concerned. Um, it has been a, a, a not happy week in Metsville. Uh, I'm going to try my best to, uh, to say something positive, although looking at this Mets uh, hat that I have on my dashboard today, I'm wondering if I should have like the American Red Cross sign on it. Because, good lord, this is like the, the mash unit and a half. Um, it, this is as, as low as we've been in a really long time. And um, hopefully there's something positive to be, to be gained from this. Uh, Michael Conforto is one thing I can think of. I mentioned the starting pitching. That's another thing. But hopefully in the coming week I will be back to normal schedule in, in terms of recording. And uh, hopefully we can go in some direction other than down because, my God, I hope we are at rock bottom right now after going 1-8 and eight in our last nine games. To categorize the current state of the Mets as depressing at the moment would be an understatement. I'm not sure exactly how to say um, and how to explain the way things are going right now. Um, I know there's lots of blame being thrown around. Terry Collins is being thrown under the bus left and right. Um, I'm sorry guys, but we cannot blame this on Terry Collins. Uh, <laughs> there's just no one healthy right now. Um, we can make some general statements about the in team's inability to use the now 10-day disabled list, um, which would certainly help with at least putting some live bodies on the bench. But right now we've got an, uh, an unable to play Cespedes and unable to play Darno. Um, we've got um, we've got guys who are who are playing out of position in Jay Bruce. Uh, we've got Michael Conforto, who's been quite frankly one of the only bright spots on the offensive side of the ball right now. And honestly, I, I don't know I don't know if we can get much worse than we are right now. Um, we are approaching last place in the division. Um, we will be playing the Braves uh, this week. To determine who will be in last place at the end of that three-game series, and uh, hopefully Yoannis Cespedes will be back in the lineup. Um, we can't say anything negative about the starting pitching; it's been very good. Uh, last night, Daniel Murphy did what Daniel Murphy does to the Mets, and he he really uh, he really proves to us that we made a big mistake in in letting him go and having to watch him literally kill the Mets every chance he gets, and reading Max Scherzer's comments uh, about Murphy wanting to go out there and, quote, bash the Mets' brains in every chance he gets. Um, we can't blame Murph. Murph's doing what we knew Murph could do. He's hitting 300, he's driving the ball, and boy, would it be nice to have a contact hitter like Murph in the Mets lineup right about now. But enough talking about what we don't have. Um, let's talk about what we do have. I mentioned Michael Conforto. Um, I, I think we've got two things that we need to talk about. Michael Conforto needs to stay in the lineup every day. Curtis Granderson needs to sit on the bench. I'm sorry. I love Curtis Granderson. I think he's a great guy. I think he will eventually, at some point in his uh, post-playing career, be uh, a player representative for the Players' Union. I'm sorry, be a representative for the Players' Union, MLB Players' Union. But anyway, um, Conforto needs to stay in the lineup, period. There's there's no way that he can sit. Uh, he's the only presence in the lineup who consistently gets on base. Uh, yes, it's still early, but um, th that's one of the things we need to talk about. The other is that we'll never hopefully have to see Rafael Montero ever again. I am so done with Montero. I've been done with him for a long time. And hopefully now that Familia is back, uh, the Mets bullpen can start to take shape and guys can stop pitching out of position, start pitching in position, and Terry can stop overusing guys like he was doing over the first 10 or 12 games of the season. Uh, one final comment I want to throw out before I wrap up today, and 
it's the fact that it's still early. There's lots of season left. Uh, let's look at the different different divisions just for a moment and look at the records in the divisions. Look at the look at the way that some of the teams are performing in the early part of the season. Do we honestly think the Cincinnati Reds are going to win the NL Central? Do we honestly think that the Rockies are going to win the, the NL West? Do we honestly think that the Giants are going to finish under 500? Do we honestly think that the Cubs and the Cardinals are going to finish at 500? Look, it's early in the season. Could the Mets be playing better? Absolutely. But look, so could a lot of other teams. So let's not panic. Let's not go throwing guys under the bus and screaming for people's heads, <clears throat> people who yell about Terry Collins all the time. Uh, let's instead get behind the team. Let's root for the team. Let's hope that they turn the corner here. And let's hope that they can get healthy sooner rather than later. And the final hope, let's hope that this doesn't happen late in the season. Let's get the injury crap out of the way now. Let's get healthy at the right time. Let's stay healthy during the dog days. And let's make a run at this thing because, look, the door is closing for the Mets. This is we're sort of creeping toward the end of the dominance that the starting pitching is going to have. We're going to have to start paying them. And as we've said before, it's not going to happen. We're not going to be able to pay all of them. So let's pay. Let's play our best now. Let's make a run at this thing. Let's hope that Sandy Alderson can be creative and add a bat who can do something other than hit home runs. That's all for today. Um, again, sorry for the hiatus. I'm going to be back uh, hopefully this week on a regular basis to uh, recap the games with the Braves. And my God, I hope we don't get swept and or lose the series to the Braves. So until we talk again, which will probably be sometime on Wednesday, I thank you for watching. And uh, please follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets.